Bubblegum G Fuel! I'm finally gonna review it! What's going on everybody? Today we are finally gonna take a look at the Bubblegum G Fuel flavor, which has been up on my shelf for quite some time and I've been thinking about reviewing it, but I just haven't gotten to it. And there are like five to 10 other flavors that I haven't reviewed yet that I will be getting to in the coming months. But today it's all about bubblegum, baby. But before I crack this bubblegum tub open and give it a taste as well as my thoughts and a score, you know what time it is. G Fuel code Danny D is 10 to 30% off at gfield.com. And using that code not only saves you some dinero on some tasty caffeinated beverages, but it also supports my content and allows me to continue being a full-time content creator, which means a lot to me. So thank you for using the code. We also still have Danny Dorito 23 GFIL shakers in stock. And if you have not tried GFIL before, or you're looking to try some new flavors, I highly recommend picking up a Danny Dorito 23 GFIL starter kit. That way you get my sexy shaker along with seven flavor sample packets to get your toes wet. But without further ado, let's review some G Fuel. So here's a better look at the bubblegum G Fuel tub. It's pretty simple. It's pink with some bubbles. It's a bubble gum on it and like little wrappers. And if you did not know, the G Fuel energy formula is 15 calories, 150 milligrams of caffeine, and zero sugar per serving. Let's crack the tub open, give it a smell. Yup, it smells just like I opened up some double bubble. It is a white powder and it's actually half empty. So I, I it really is surprising I haven't reviewed this one yet. That's my bad. And I thought it would be fitting to use a pink shaker, but this one is clear because I like to show you the color of the G Fuel once I mix it up. And inside here I have 16 ounces of water and a generous serving of ice. Nice level scoop going in. Boom. Now let's give it a shake. All right, now that it's shook up, you can see that it is basically the same color as this lid. It's like a really dark pink color. Let's give it another smell. Ooh. It's a light bubblegum smell. It smells really good. It doesn't smell like Pepto-Bismol or bubblegum toothpaste or anything like that. Let's give it a taste. I got a mouthful of ice there, but damn, that's good. It's a strong flavor, but at the same time, it's very smooth because it is one note. It tastes like bubble gum. I have heard some people say that they get like a lemon or a bit of a citrus taste there. I think that maybe it's just a little bit of a tartness. I don't necessarily taste any lemon or lemonade. What I will say is if you've had radioactive lemonade, which is a bubble gum lemonade, it is that same bubble gum taste, but much stronger. And there is this nice sweet bubble gum aftertaste that is more sweet than anything. That is a very smooth flavor. Like the definition of smooth. Again, I can confirm it is not like a Pepto-Bismol or any kind of medicine or anything like that. This legit tastes like I threw some fresh bubble gum in my mouth, but the flavor didn't dissipate like it usually does. Very strong, definitely lingers on the taste buds. And some people do ask me, what do I think an underrated G Fuel flavor is? I think I'm gonna have to go with bubble gum. It's sweet, it's smooth, it's not trying to be anything it's not. And it definitely gives me like childhood memory vibes. Like when I was a kid, my parents would get those Sam's Club buckets of like double bubble. And sometimes I would sneak like five pieces of gum and just have like a giant wad of gum in my mouth. That's literally what this is like, except without the actual gum and chewing and without the sugar. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself for not reviewing this sooner because it is definitely worth picking up, especially if you like bubble gum. And with those thoughts, I am gonna give the bubble gum G Fuel flavor a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely approaching that banger territory. I do think it's pretty complex for a one note or one flavor note flavor. That, uh, that sounded weird, but I think you get what I mean. It's just bubble gum. There's nothing else added to it. It's not lemon bubble gum, grape bubble gum or anything like that. It's just bubble gum. And keeping that in mind, I think they did a great job. It's definitely not something that I'm gonna be drinking every day, but honestly, I might start drinking it more. So there you have it. There's my thoughts on the bubble gum G Fuel flavor. Hopefully that helped you decide whether you should pick it up. It is available on the website right now. I don't think I've ever seen it go out of stock, but the fact that it's still a thing after this much time just shows that it is not going anywhere. At least I hope not. But let me know down in the comments, have you tried the bubblegum G Fuel flavor? And if so, what would you rate it? And also what's your favorite candy flavor? Because this is probably a close second, but for me, I'm gonna have to go with Sour Power. Also guys, these videos take time to make. So if you like them, you enjoy them, you find them helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, make sure to select all. That way, every time I upload a video, it goes straight straight to you. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!
people are definitely sleeping on this flavor.